guys welcome back to my channel or if you're new welcome my name is monica and today we're gonna do a really chatty casual get ready with me i have a whole bunch of updates some life updates some job updates some hair updates so i have a whole bunch of new makeup here in front of me i thought we could play with it try it out while i talk about some of my updates so before we jump in don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you like get ready with me and if you want to see any more videos in the future don't forget to subscribe hit the little bell icon so you're notified whenever i post a new video so let's go ahead and start with our primer and our base and then we'll start talking about some life updates for primer I just got the Cover FX Blurring Primer in my BoxyCharm. I've used it a couple of times and I really like it. So we're going to go in with this for my primer. And then today, I actually, this isn't new anymore, but I finally got my hands on it. This is the Dior Air Flash Spray Foundation that comes in the aerosol can. I've been wanting to try this out ever since like it came out. It's just a fascinating concept. It's like a shake bottle. So you're going to spray it like onto your brush and then put it on. You could spray it onto your face. I d don't think they recommend that though. Okay, and then for concealer, I have a NYX concealer that I just picked up. This is the HD Studio Photogenic Concealer. I have the shade CW06 for the NYX concealer. In the Dior, I have, what's it, 201? Yep, I have 201 in the Dior. So we're gonna go ahead and put all of that on. Yeah, so life updates, if you guys missed when i mentioned it in one of my other videos i actually got a part-time job at sephora it hasn't officially started yet i went in early um i wasn't actually supposed to start until like next week or the week after when they first like offered me the position but because i'm working at a new store it was a brand new opening um and they were really understaffed for the opening so they actually brought me and one other girl in like two three weeks early to train for a full day just to get us ready so that we could work the grand opening event Ooh -hoo. okay say so the shade match is actually pretty accurate there but I don't know how much I'm gonna have to build up this coverage I kind of want to spray it on my face even though you're not supposed to that's just mm. okay doesn't really do a whole lot less or more so I'm gonna keep doing that um so yeah so we came in early to train and then work the grand opening event and right before the event we were supposed to do like our onboarding hiring paperwork um, but someone made a mistake with our paperwork, so we actually couldn't do it that day. So um, I just texted the store leader or yesterday, day before, and she said that we would get the paperwork figured out by the end of this week and that most likely I would begin regular shifts next week. There we go, there we go. You gotta spray it a couple of times just to get the product there. I really wonder how many like sprays you're supposed to do for like a full phase because I think this is... Like spray number eight. Okay, now that I think that I have enough on, I'm gonna go ahead and smooth it out with a beauty blender. Okay, so it's definitely like low medium coverage. I'm not sure how much you could build it up. I'm gonna try building it up right here. The finish is beautiful, I will say. It does look like skin still, and you can see like my freckles are all still coming through right here. I have some scars right here, I have some scars up here. They're all still coming through. Let me see if we can build it up. So you can build it up. I just don't know how much product you're going to be using, because with the building up, I think I went through at least like 10 like short sprays from the bottle, so I really don't know like how many uses you're actually going to get per bottle especially when it's this expensive but i will say i mean it's a good shade match and the finish is stunning it's beautiful so yeah on top of the part-time job at ooh, don't think that's the right shade for me i'm probably gonna mix this with another concealer i'm just going to add a little bit of the old concealer in light warm just to lighten that up because it's definitely not light enough for me right now so like I was saying, on top of the part-time job I got at, so, is that my phone? <laughs> it's actually what I'm about to talk about right now. Let me turn that off. 
Um, so on top of that, I, I currently work at a bookstore right now, but due to, you know, circumstances, I'm not going to get too much into it. I've been looking at other jobs, looking for other opportunities, and I've been interviewing for the past couple of weeks now with a, um, with a publishing company to work in editing. And it's been like eight interviews. It was a long interview process, but... Um, this morning I actually had my final interview with the um, like their regional manager. It was at their main like East Coast office and I thought it was a really good interview but I felt like it was definitely too quick. Like I've already met with her once over Skype like as a Skype interview and I've Skype interviewed with like the rest of the team that I would be working with and with a couple of other people like transitioning out of the like similar roles not the exact role so it's been a long interview process but then like this interview i kind of thought it would be longer since it would be my first like in-person interview because this regional manager had to fly in from one of their other corporate offices so she actually came from i think it was columbus ohio flew in for the interview and i didn't know how many other people were in this final round who else was being interviewed you know all that jazz i'm not really liking the nyx concealer if i'm being honest it's already creased a little bit and it doesn't really cover up my dark circles. I still see my circles right there. I don't want to layer it up too much though. So I think I'm just going to leave it and powder it. So going into the interview today, I had no idea like who else was applying, who else made it to this final step. And I was just like really anxious overall. Um, but I got in, met with her. It was fine. We talked. I got a tour of the office. I met a few other people. It's a beautiful office. Like stunning stunning and it's like an open floor plan so everyone sits not in cubicles but like pods kind of thing kind of like you're in middle school again but the, the building is absolutely beautiful they have all these extra like amenities and and they offer amazing benefits which is something that they brought up during like my first interview get powder everywhere that's one of the steps so i'm setting all this with my natasha denona powder it took a little bit under my eyes i'm gonna add a little bit to my chin i always like to bake down here because i have most of my like breakouts and scarring down here so anyway i had this interview it went a lot faster than i thought it would like my interview was scheduled for 8 30 i was out of the building by 9 15 which to me was like mm, i don't know about this like uh, um so anyway afterwards i grabbed a coffee i was on my way home and like as soon literally literally as soon as i walked in the door at my house my phone rang and it was from like an out of state number and I had no idea who it was so I let it go to voicemail. Um, but then they left a voicemail and it was from the company's like corporate HR office. And they were like, oh sorry we missed you. We wanted to go ahead and extend a formal offer for the position. And I was ecstatic. Like, couldn't believe it. This was like my dream position. I spent almost months applying and going through the interview process and I met so many people. And to have it happen finally just so fast, like, I still, like, I still, like, am in shock. And this happened, this happened a couple hours ago. The interview was this morning and the formal offer, I just, I signed all the paperwork and I sent it back in. Ecstatic. So they're actually going to have me start two weeks from tomorrow. So today is Wednesday. My first day is supposed to be either the 31st or the 1st, depending on when all the paperwork is going to get done. And my last day at this job, the bookstore that I'm working at, is going to be a week from Friday. I couldn't do the full two weeks notice because they wanted me to start ASAP, um, but I'm like a day and a half short of the two weeks notice, so it's not a problem. I have to say, I really like the finish of the foundation. Like, it's not full coverage, definitely. You still see your skin coming through, but it looks nice. It feels nice. It doesn't feel heavy or cakey. It didn't dry down all the way, so I would definitely set it. I set my face with the Rimmel Stay Matte Powder. I have shade 004 Sandstorm. Okay, so since I don't really have a new bronzer or contour or anything, I'm just going to be taking my Butter Bronzer from Musician's Formula and using that to warm up my face a little bit. So yeah, all of this happened like this morning. I got the formal offer. I went ahead and put in my notice at my current position. I've been letting like my friends and family know and my best friend in the world is like, oh, I'm sending you edible arrangements. And I'm like, get out of here. You're just the sweetest person in the world. And I already got flowers. I don't know if you can see them. I got flowers over here from my boyfriend yesterday. <laughs> I'm just like on cloud nine right now. I can't believe, you know, when you work 
at something for so long and you have no idea if it's actually going to come through or not because i've been applying for jobs i'm going to be honest since last october it's been a long process you know in this like day and age i'm talking mainly about america i don't know how it is elsewhere in the world but in, in this day and age when you're transitioning jobs or when you're just looking for a job it's a long process and it's not an easy process either and you know sometimes you're like looking for so long and you spend so much time on it that you don't ever think that anything real is going to come through because the first few like emails or like interviews i got were with like you know multi-level marketing schemes and people that want you to go door to door to sell this and sell that and after you work so hard on your resume and you apply to so many jobs and if you don't hear anything back from all of them it gets really discouraging really really discouraging and it was really i've been applying since october and it's only in the last two months like end of february early march that i've heard back from like actual reputable companies for positions that would be a step up for me at this point in my career and that's i mean you really have to like stay in there because it took months and months and months and even if you get the interview, even if you get to, you know, round two, round three, you might either find out that it's not a good fit for you, which happened to me a few weeks ago. Not a few weeks. I think it was like two months. I went in for an interview and, and realized that the bookstore I was going to, they hadn't been 100% truthful about, like, their business and how long they had been in business. And so that wasn't a good fit at all. So it, I mean, it, what I'm saying or I'm, what I'm trying to say is that looking for a job, applying, interviewing, it's a big, stressful mess. And you don't even really know how it's going to work out. But I'm just so happy it did. It finally did. It took me October, November, December, January, February, March, April, May, June. It took me almost seven months since I started applying for other jobs to accept a job offer. Seven months. But you know what? I'm glad some of those other opportunities didn't work out. I'm glad I waited and got this one because it's in a city that is in a perfect location for me. It's a step up. The pay is good. It's just like it was worth the wait. So I do have um, one of the new Mac and Patrick Star little compact thingies. This one is in I'm Not Blushing. I think I'm going to take a little bit of this lighter side. Tap a little off. Ooh, that's really pretty. I like it. I don't know about this shade. It's probably more of like a contour or something, but I'll try it out next time. For highlight, I'm going to be taking MAC Whisper of Guilt. This is limited edition that they just brought back, so I picked it up. It is a beautiful, beautiful highlight. Just get that all the way up there. And I didn't even say the best part about what I just said was my dream job that I just got, is that it's literally a block and a half away from the sephora where i got the part-time job literally that close so my goal what i really want to do is this is going to be a nine to five job which is amazing like i i work in retail i still technically do with sephora but this is going to be my first like out of school full-time office job so it's nine to five if you've ever worked retail i one i applaud you it's not easy and two you'll understand about all the issues of scheduling, about having to work opening shifts, about having to clope in, about having to do all this extra work for oftentimes a lot less pay than an actual office job. And also like, I mean, the pay is not there, but also the titles. Like if you're a manager at a retail location, you get saddled with a lot of stuff. Even if you're not a manager, I know friends and family that they're supervisors or they're just key holders and they get saddled with a whole lot of work that they really shouldn't get saddled with because just because it's retail and you can get stuff just thrown on your plate. Another bright side for me is that it's going to be a reliable nine to five position, which I would very much like to have at this point in my life. You know, I used to always like think like, oh, a nine to five office job, that's gonna be so boring. No, <laughs> no, nine to five, at a reliable salary means that there's structure, means that you can do whatever the heck you wanna do outside of that nine to five. So the goal for me is to work the nine to five at this editing position and then work either nights and weekends or just some nights and weekends at the Sephora. 
and you know it's working out i you know a few weeks ago i didn't know if any of this was actually going to work out but i'm just really happy it is i'm not gonna tear up i swear to god i already cried this morning i'm not going to cry now <laughs> Okay, so our base is done. I'm gonna go ahead and jump off camera to do my brows and then prime my eyes. And we will be back to play with some new eyeshadow palettes. Okay, and we're back. I didn't do anything super like precise with the brows. I just threw in the Ulta um, tinted brow gel and then topped it with a clear brow gel from ABH. And then I just primed and set my primer with the MAC Paint Pot and Painterly. And then I just set it with the Rimmel Stay Matte Powder. So I do have a couple of new eyeshadow palettes here. I don't know which one I want to play with yet. I have the new Elf Rose Gold Sunset Palette. Looks really pretty, but I kind of want to do a whole video on this. So I think I'm going to save that for a couple of looks later. I have one of the MAC and Patrick Star quads, which I think this purple is calling my name. We might have to do some purples. I also just picked up the NYX Ultimate eyeshadow palette. This is the Brights, NYX Ultimate Brights. Can I open it? Oh, there we go. And this looks really pretty. You know what? I think I'll use both. I think I'm going to start with like these light purples right here in this row. And then I really want to use that dark purple in the Patrick Star palette. Okay, so I'm just going to take this like light purple right here from the NYX palette and just throw that into my crease slash fake crease. Okay, so we talked about the jobs. Um, so since the jobs are so close to each other, my goal is to do both. And ultimately after like a couple of weeks, maybe a couple of months, I would like to move a little bit closer. Right now, I live with family, um, but between the two jobs and between the raise that I would get, I'd be able to afford like half a rent in the area. <laughs> half a rent. So I'd be looking into either, you know, finding a place with a roommate or if my boyfriend's job works out, we've actually been looking at a couple of apartments. It's just a little hard for him because he's got the corgi. His name is Rex. If you haven't seen the video with Rex in it, I'll throw it up in the cards. He's adorable. Um, but it's hard finding like pet friendly apartments in the area, especially because while he is a small dog, he's pretty heavy. So I don't know if he meets like some of the weight requirements, as sad as that is to say. So we've been looking at apartments. I don't know if it would be sometime soon, but maybe over the summer, maybe hopefully by the beginning of the fall, we'd be looking to move. <sighs> it's both exciting, exhilarating, and like also kind of terrifying, but yeah excited okay so i'm gonna take this third shade right here and then just take it a little bit lower this one has a little bit of shimmer in it shimmer in it in it shimmer in it it has a little bit of shimmer in it i'm gonna take it a little bit lower than what i took the first shade i gotta say i'm impressed with like how well these are blending out You do get a little bit of kick up from the palette, but as long as you tap off your brush to get rid of the excess, you're not going to get any fallout on your face. So I'm first going to take like this like dark pink right here from the palette um, on that same brush. This is a Morphe M433. And I'm just going to build this up a little bit on the outer edge. Now I really want to take like this royal purple right here and... I think I'm gonna take it on the lower lash line because I like the way that the, the light purples and the pinks look up top. I'm gonna just get a small little detail brush from Morphe and dip in. Okay, so we talked about my jobs. We talked about possibly moving. What's there left to talk about? My hair. So if you haven't been following my channel for a little while or if you're new, um, basically I have super like curly natural hair but i spent the majority of the past 11-ish years blow drying and straightening it every time i washed it i know it's like heat damage to the extreme and if you saw some of my videos from last year you'll remember when i tried to dye like the bottom half silver so now that's still like a light brown so that's pretty like heat damaged you know color damaged all all the damage basically um but even after all of that my curls they still bounce back and they didn't look that bad honestly like i went to a salon and they saw my curly hair and they had like 
no idea that I had been blow drying it and straightening it for that long because my curls still like they held in there. This is like second day hair so it's a little messy, bear with me. But I figured it was time to stop forcing my hair to do what it doesn't want to do. Like I need to embrace the curl and embrace the frizz, especially now that summer is coming and I'm going to be commuting to this new job and it's a walk to the train station, a couple of trains and then a walk from the train station. And that's just too much to be worrying about keeping my hair pinned straight when it's going to be stormy, when it's going to be humid, when it's going to be nuts. So finally, that's what pushed me to start going natural with my hair. I'm really liking how this is looking so far. It's a little, I mean, it's all matte right now, so I feel like it needs a little oomph, but I really don't need it. Like, it looks pretty enough. I like it. Don't know what to do for a liner though. I might just line it with a black liner. Yeah, so I'm just gonna take my NYX Epic Ink Liner and just line my um, upper lash line. I'm not gonna wing it out or anything because I like the way that this is looking. So yeah, hair. So I had no idea how to deal with curly hair at all. Like I literally had no idea where to even begin when it came to curly hair. So I did what I do best and I watched a bunch of YouTube videos. I researched a whole bunch. I, oof, that's good right there. Let that dry. I watched a whole bunch of videos. I did a bunch of reading and I figured out, you know, for me where the best place to start and that would be just adding a whole lot more hydration to my hair, doing a lot of like deep conditioning treatments and just cutting out the heat. I've actually, this is the longest I've gone without using heat on my hair in probably years like i haven't blow dried or straightened my hair in about a week and a half which that's that's a record for me so i started by buying a couple of diva curl products i got them at sephora i got the it's called like the no poo and like the one condition like the original like beginner um shampoo and conditioner also at sephora they had the melt into matcha uh deep conditioning Oh, I'm about to mess this liner up. Let me concentrate. Holy high hell did I mess up this high. Whew. We're just gonna go like extra dramatic with the liner then. See, sometimes, not even just with this liner, but sometimes if it's got too much like juice in it, it'll like squirt out and you'll get like a bump that you can't really fix. Yeah, that's as good as we're gonna get it for now. A little bit more dramatic than I wanted. So I got the shampoo and the conditioner and then the Sephora that I was at at the time had the melt into matcha like deep conditioning treatment as a 100 point perk. So I picked up like three of them because <laughs> I thought that would be a better way of trying it out as opposed to getting like the big tub. And I like that the 100 point perk one came in a squeezy tube. I don't like the idea of having a mask like that like in a tub just personal preference. So I got all of that. I also picked up some more um, styling treatments. I got the, um, I don't know if I have it over here. I got one of the like curl definer like creams and then I also got one of the gels. I actually used their curl definer like cream way back in the day. Whenever I left my hair curly, I would put that in it and it worked pretty well. So that's actually where I first started with Diva Curl. And then I also picked up one of their microfiber towels because I think that was one of my biggest issues was that whenever I got out of the shower, no matter what I did, my hair would always get frizzy, but I wasn't using a t-shirt. I was just using a regular cotton towel and even just switching towels like has made a huge difference. So I'm thinking about either picking out some old t-shirts to use while I wash that one towel or like picking up another one because I think that was pretty worth the investment. And because I know my hair could use the extra moisture and the like deep conditioning. I also got one of the um like hot is it called hot heads? It's like it looks like a shower cap but it's got like beads in it and so you throw it in the microwave for a couple of seconds and then after you put in your deep conditioning mask you put your hair up put it in a shower cap and then you put that on top of it just to give it a little bit of heat to really help the moisture you know, sink into your hair and your hair follicles. So I also picked up one of those, but I haven't gotten that one in the mail yet. 
So for lips, I actually finally got my hands on the e.l.f. and Alyssa Ashley lip gloss. I've been dying to try this out. And I also have the lipstick from Patrick Star and MAC. This is Sweet Mama Star. So I think this would go well with the Alyssa Ashley gloss. So we're going to try that out. So I'm excited about going totally natural with my hair. You know, I'm just learning to embrace the curls embrace the frizz i'm also learning how to style it because also like no one ever taught me how to style hair i never looked up how to style curly hair i was just like oh my hair's poofy what am i gonna do you can work with the poof hmm, it's a really pretty shade i don't know if it really goes with the eye look today but that's a really pretty shade let's try the gloss i have to say the packaging on this is beautiful Look at this, there's rose gold. It's got her name on there. Ooh, darker than I thought it was gonna be. That's really pretty. Again, I don't know if it really goes with the eye look that I was doing today, but it's a really pretty gloss. I definitely can't wait to try it out just like on its own to see how the color looks, but it's comfortable. It looks nice. I'm digging it. I also, I picked up two of these just because I was waiting forever to find this gloss and it was sold out everywhere. I tried buying it online. It was nuts. And I never saw it in store at Elf because I do have a couple of Elf stores near me. Never saw it in store. Finally saw it in store and I picked up two of them just, just because. Let's go ahead and lock in all this goodness with some Fix Plus. And some of the Scandinavia makeup setting spray. And that is the final look. I was actually really surprised by most of these products. Only one really like dud, and that's the NYX concealer. It just wrong shade, not really full coverage not a huge fan of that and i'm pretty sure uh, yeah i got a little bit of creasing not as bad as it can definitely get but i do have some creasing so i probably wouldn't use the concealer again but the rest of the products i'm like really pleasantly surprised by especially the dior foundation can't wait to try this out even more and see how it wears throughout the day and the nyx eyeshadow palette like i was really surprised at how well these blended out i can't wait to do some more looks with this one especially with these greens over here in the corner so thank you so much for watching i hope you liked this chatty get ready with me if you did don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe and i hope i'll see you in my next video bye